Medical Center Parkway in Murfreesboro is on the rise. So there's a lot of area out here that's been developed and there's homes, restaurants, bars, storage facilities, gas stations, you name it. But beneath growth and development lie spirits from some of the heaviest fighting in the Civil War. The battle actually started right over here off Gresham in 96. They fought almost four and a half miles from the 96 all the way past Murfreesboro Road. <laughs> Author Alan Searcy making sure this piece of history isn't erased. So he published Southern Ghost Stories Murfreesboro, Spirits of Stones River. There's a lot of homes off Medical Center Parkway that were used as hospitals. So in recent years, they've been bulldozed and they build businesses there. So naturally, the people who work there and operate their business there have weird stories, things that happen to them. Thousands of people were killed or they lost limbs, they got their arms shot off. I mean, it's war's brutal. They're fighting with muskets and sometimes it's hand-to-hand -hand combat. A gentleman told me that uh, he, think, he thinks there's a Union soldier up, upstairs on the third floor that's trying to help him. He's an African-American gentleman, so when he goes upstairs, the lights should come on. So when he goes upstairs, the lights turn off. Staff members here at this convenience store on Medical Center Parkway claim to hear strange things inside of the building since they first opened last year, especially at night. She said, well, when I was working late, I heard somebody calling my name in the cooler, and she was the only person in the store. Only 15% of the fighting took place at the Stones River National Battlefield on North Thompson Lane. Mark Walsh from Rutherford County Paranormal Investigations has had countless interactions with spirits, especially near the slaughter pen. We've been out there over 100 times, and we've heard uh, cannon fire, musket fire. Uh, we've seen soldiers walking across the battlefield at night. His team uses a spirit box to communicate. Uh, every time I go out there, I always ask, you know, do you know who the president is? And every time it says Lincoln. We decided to give it a try on a hot October afternoon. Do you want us to stay here or go? You want to say anything? Want to say hello? Not very chatty. Walsh says it happens, but they've been lucky more days than not. Cersei plans to publish more stories. I love the ghost stories, but I like to dig in and try to tie them into the histor historical significance. For now, you can explore the area yourself and see what you might find. Reporting in Murfreesboro, Julia Palazzo, News 2.